we're a startup technology company building autonomous robots and we're also a fully fledged farming operation here as well so we grow wheat, barley, chickpeas. Chào mừng bạn đến với ứng dụng Bado VN, báo đọc bằng giọng nói hàng đầu Việt Nam. Bạn có thể tải hoàn toàn miễn phí trên Google Play cho Android hoặc trên chợ ứng dụng cho iPhone. Link tải được đính kèm trong phần mô tả cuối mỗi video. Bado VN luôn cập nhật tin tức 24 giờ nhanh nhất với đủ các đầu mục nóng hội, thời sự, kinh doanh, pháp luật, sức khỏe, góc nhìn cuộc sống, tâm sự và đặc biệt, bạn có thể trao đổi hoặc tương tác với các thính giả khác. Giao diện ứng dụng được thiết kế thân thiện, trực quan, giọng đọng dễ nghe, truyền cảm chắc chắn sẽ làm quý thính giả hài lòng. Chuyên mục sức khỏe, cẩm năng các bí quyết sống khỏe, chăm sóc phòng tránh bệnh cho gia đình mỗi ngày. Tin mới nhất, nơi tổng hợp các tin xã hội, đời sống giải trí hot nhất 24 giờ. Chuyên mục tâm sự, chia sẻ tâm tư tình cảm của mọi người, đặc biệt là các vấn đề liên quan chuyện thầm kiến, tình yêu, hôn nhân danh. Hãy tại ba đô VN này, link tải được đính kèm trong phần mô tả mỗi video. Cheese, mung beans, sorghum, and we run beef cattle as well. We're farmers, and we actually wanted to change the way we farm. We got bigger, we got heavier, and I think we were compromising the way we we're doing things. Jossie and Andrew Bate realised their traditional tractors were compacting their soil too much and in the face of increasing herbicide resistance, decided to make their own. And they really went for it. Weighing in at a slender 2,000 kilos with a 75 horsepower diesel engine, fifth generation bot November autonomously prowls paddocks on the hunt for invasive weeds. So November's got 13 different infrared cameras dotted along its back boom. And when it drives over weeds, it sees them and sprays some herbicide out of one of its individual 65 nozzles. With such precision, it can target those hard to kill weeds. And I'm told it can cut harmful herbicide usage by up to 98%, drastically reducing runoff. It can work day and night. It doesn't need a lunch break, and unlike me, it's not headed to the pub at the end of its shift. And what are these here? So at the front of the machine, we've got these these cameras. So we've got three different lots of cameras, and they uh, they're actually our obstacle detection. So what they do is build a ground plane out in front of the machine, um, and then any obstacles built up off that ground plane. So if there's something that comes up that's unexpected, it'll see it and stop for that. We try and feed the robot as much information as we can before it gets out there. But this is just uh, one of those safety measures that we've got in place. Developing the software on farm is is you know puts us puts us legs ahead, I suppose, in terms of the practical application of the technology. If we were in, in a city or somewhere where we're only able to go testing every three or four weeks, there's, there's already a delay in that feedback of that software. With the training ground right on their doorstep, it means developers in there can rapidly prototype and see their code in a real life scenario right out here in the field. For us, we can write something up and have it out on a robot within an hour out in the real world within a couple of hours after that working here at Bendy, it makes the process a lot faster. We actually want to get them out of the air conditioned comfort and into the paddock. They can see how it's actually going to respond to the environment or whatever's in front of it, you know, washouts or I think every paddock and every industry and every situation is so different. And the bots are customised for different industries. They've got them on macadamia nut farms, planting cotton, mowing grass on turf farms, and they're now turning their laser focus to orchards, literally. The technology we're working on uses computer vision and looks at each tree and says, this tree needs thinning today and this tree doesn't need thinning. The end result of that will be better quality fruit, better yields and potentially less chemicals used in the system. And eventually, they want to get rid of using chemicals altogether.